Spiders are usually solitary creatures. This fact alone gives me comfort. However, as I've recently learned, there are about two dozen species of arachnids known as social spiders. This means they tend to not just only live together, but hunt together as well. As a confirmed arachnophobe, knowing that there is a possibility of being swarmed by spiders is one of my worst nightmares realized. Anolosimus exmus is a social spider found from New England all the way down to Argentina. You can often find colonies of up to 50,000 individuals who, when working together, by sheer numbers are able to overcome their diminutive 8 mm size to capture much larger prey in their webs. Unlike social insects where there is a division of labor and workers are sterile with only the queen laying eggs, all social spiders in a colony are able to reproduce. Sleep on that, will ya? 50,000 eight-legged spider baby mamas pushing out up to 3,000 more of these vile creatures. And guess what? Florida researchers studying social spiders found that juveniles in the colony survive longer and develop faster. And the mothers in these communal groups also survive longer and produce second broods earlier than spider mamas in non-communal groups. So why don't more species practice some form of communal living? It's due to the non-dispersal of juvenile spiders resulting in colonies that are highly inbred, causing lower genetic diversity which could lead to an evolutionary dead end.